Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your Galaxy Note 5. Now, you want two things for this. The first is a stable internet connection. I recommend Wi-Fi over LTE, but it's up to you. And then you want your old phone that you are upgrading from to do it the faster and quicker way. And let's go to it and show you how it's done. So you're going to start pressing this yellow circle after you choose your language and country. And then you're going to go to the next section. Again, I'm going to connect to Wi-Fi, so I want a really reliable connection. So I'm going to type that in now. And after it connects, it will be allow me to go next. And then I'm going to choose what I want for this. I'll do that. I don't care. And then we'll go next. Agree. And then it's going to ask you after the software updates if you want to do tap and go. Tap and go is what you want your old Android device for. So you will need to make sure it's on the home screen, which I'll do now. And then once I have that, I will just tap these back to back. And my old phone will ask me, do you want to uh, transfer everything through this? Sure, why not? And this will now allow me to transfer everything to it. Now it did say it would be using Bluetooth. In actuality, this will be using a different form setup. So it will be using Wi-Fi Direct in this case, but it could use Bluetooth if the device is older. Once you sign in, then it will verify all your accounts, which I have a lot. So I'll bring it back once I'm done signing in. All right, sorry, I had four accounts on there, so it will take a little bit of time. Once it finishes adding those, you're going to go through a period where it's going to say it's restoring your device. And thereafter, it will ask you if you want to sign into a Samsung account. So first I'm going to put where I am, which is Pacific Zone Time. And then it'll ask me if I want to protect it. I will skip that for now. Go to the next step. It will go through this restoring process. And it will be restoring in the background. So when I start the phone, it'll probably already have my wallpaper that I had on this phone and everything else uh, beginning to load all my apps. The really great part about this tap and go is if you download apps that are not on the Google Play Store. So some of the ones I have are TubeMate and Showbox. These will automatically restore, even though they're not from the Play Store, it will automatically go on here. So it's a great feature, this tap and go feature. I highly, highly recommend it. And once it's done restoring, like I was saying earlier, it will then ask you for a Samsung account. Why would you want a Samsung account? Well, you can find your phone if you ever lose it or remote wipe it. You can have a special app, such as if you go to the Galaxy App Store and download the Kindle app, you get one free book every month. Nice perk for it. You also have the ability to transfer over uh, things through your Samsung account. So for instance, if I didn't have tap and go, I could actually transfer my email accounts through a Samsung account, which is a great feature I love. And as well as your text messages, just to transfer over all of your text messages through the Samsung account as well. Uh, what else can you transfer? Well, it's just um, the gist of having all of those features as well as your S Health. So if you had all your fitness stuff in your old Samsung phone, now you'll have it in your new one. That is why you would want to have a Samsung account. Other than that, those would be the main reasons. Once it's done restoring, it will ask you to do that, and then it will start up on the final screen.